All right, second video about the solder stopping agent. The first side I already did because in this video I want to show you how to expose the thing, mount the film, um, and develop it. Hopefully this works. Let's see. First side I already exposed. Now the second side. I do it a little bit like this. Single-sided, but also doubly, double double uh, layered uh, film. Now, yeah, that's it. It just fit the film onto the PCB, so the parts that later shall be free of the resists are nicely covered. This isn't too hard. We're not talking about a micrometer here, here and there. Problem is that this film tends uh, you need to fixate it. That's the problem. I need a lovely assistance from the uh, from the audience. An assistant, please. Yeah, I know. Do it alone, Michael. Go fuck yourself. Right. I got it. Okay. I think. Yeah, that's it. Take one stripe. Fix it. Carefully. Yeah. Not to be a lawyer. Fix it. Again. Don't remove the foil. It's always a little tricky. If you remove it, you'll have a problem. Okay, that's good enough. See? That's how it looks like. Okay, then expose it, 30 seconds, no longer. Tuck. Next time we need, the uh, next step I mean, a developing bath, a negative developing bath. Sodium bicarbonate. This time. And what you have to realize is that this resist is very, very fragile. Sodium bicarbonate soda, I don't know what you call it, the last time I confused it. Natrium hydrogen carbonate um, is. A base, but it's a very, very soft base, and still, while well, it is still a soft, very soft base, still you need to be very, very gentle. Very, very, very gentle. Let's hope this thing comes out just right. And after you developed the resist, the next step then will be to harden it out half an hour 
under ultraviolet a violet light from each side. It's by the way that gets very hot. It's very powerful. I think it should already be enough. Let's try. You don't really need much. I was very surprised when I did this the first time. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, I just was wondering whether well, that is the right chemical. No, it's not um, um, <laughs> so sodium carbonate. Natrium carbonate. Because I, I thought to myself, on the uh, uh, sodium bicarbonate, hey, Michael, you can, you can, that's the stuff you can, you know, drink. And I, s I said to myself, hmm, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no. Wash soda. That's all it is. And that's how you buy it. Costs you a buck, a half a kilogram or something. Washing soda. Okay, come on. No. Ah. Mm. Makes the water softer, you know. Okay. Mm. I'll go ahead and do this all over again. Yeah, that's always the stuff for this. All right, since it was under ultra ultraviolet light now, it is at least, say, slightly hardened out, which makes it possible for us, should make it possible for us to, to develop it. Otherwise, something was wrong. Now we, here, look, now we remove the protective foil. You can now touch it without your finger sticking to it. Good. So, oh, let's see. Should go a little closer for this. between developing a normal PCB and developing a solar resist. I mean, that, you need need to bring a little more time to the game. <laughs> That's that I tell you. You can put your fingers uh, in no problem. It's such a soft base, it's hardly noticeable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. need to bring a little more time into the game here. Yeah. I make one side and then show it to you, and the rest of it I will do. I don't think that is very all too interesting, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, but it's good. Good. Without a brush, forget it. That's that. It's very time intensive to just rub it all off here. But I do just a certain part of it right now, and then I show it to you, and then that's it. Said so this is a very unnerving and process here. Yeah. But it works. And once you developed it, you have to let it dry out half an hour each side under ultraviolet light. And then your resist is, is done. Okay, here. <coughs> Ah. <sighs> Hope you can see it. Now, see this part here. I did. You see where it is blank, where the tin comes through. Developing this takes around, yeah, 20 minutes, something like that. Okay. After this, harden it out. Half hour each side, and that's it. That's how easy you, get, you can do a solder resist. Thanks for watching and see.